So I want to kick this off with a little bit of a story time. And this is about my debut in T20 cricket, in professional cricket here in the UK. And my debut was live on Sky Sports. It was a moment that I knew was coming, something that I was super excited about. I was also super nervous about it. And when it happened, when the actual day happened, it was a car crash. And the reason why it was a car crash was because I didn't have control of my emotions. I didn't understand fully what was going on and I didn't have a strategy or even techniques in which to control those emotions. So like I mentioned, I was nervous, I was excited. So these were all the pre-emotions that were coming up. And then on the day, it was hyper emotional. There was this, the TV cameras, the fireworks. I hadn't seen that before. I hadn't experienced it before. It was brand new. It was live on TV. So there was that. Family was in the crowd. So there was that. Maybe expectations over there. But there wasn't anything that I had a real grasp on to understand what was going on with my emotions. And when the game actually started, I was the first person to bowl in the game. And I will probably do a YouTube video on my reaction to this because I have the footage of it. I found that my f first thing was that I was just sort of hyper, hyper aware or hyper active. And I could feel my body was almost like in this like jittery stage. So this was sort of the overexcitement that I was feeling. And I had a plan, I had everything planned out that I wanted to do. But as the game started and I bowled this first ball, it started to fall apart. The first ball was quick, it went down leg side, I remember it, it went down the back of the batsman and it, and it was given a wide, it was a bit of an uh, annoying start. But then the next ball got hit for a boundary, it got whacked by the batsman. And then the next ball whacked again, then the next one. And the, ultimately the whole six ball, maybe seven ball over, ended up going for 22, maybe 26 runs. And it was it was just awful. I didn't bowl again in the game and it was terrible. I came off and I was down. I was annoyed with myself. I was frustrated, angry. But I remember during that over, the amount of emotions that I felt, I felt first off like excitement to begin with. I'd managed to calm my nerves down. Then I had this moment of like apprehension when the first ball didn't go how I planned it then I tried harder I had this little moment of like okay effort I'm gonna really work hard to bowl this next ball then that didn't go to plan then there was a bit of frustration that it wasn't going to plan then I started to feel angry I started to feel disappointed I started to almost feel like I wanted the ground to swallow me up and this kind of sadness and an anxiety and it was just the fact that I had no idea what was going on. I had no, I hadn't even tuned into it. And after I came off, I felt this sadness, this frustration, this disappointment. I was upset about what happened. I had some great people around me that really made allowed me to move past it. But now on reflection, when I look back at it, I had no idea of being in control of my emotions. And I didn't address them And at the time. I didn't understand what to do with them. And I just ran on them. I was just running on these emotions, moving from one to the other. And it was just, like I said, a car crash. I then think of other games that I've played in the past where I've actually then ran on other emotions, which were things like anger and frustration. And then the more I've tried, I've run away with those emotions and, and been almost swept up by them. And when you're when that happens, it's almost like you're just a puppet and you're not being controlled by your own thoughts. You're just being controlled by your emotions. So having something that can make you control those strings and bring control back to yourself is really important. And that's what we want to try and give in this episode. So the idea is that whatever emotions that you're feeling are totally natural. And emotions that I even think about in my story there were natural. They were completely normal. But having control of them is super important. 